Welcome to God's Food for Thought. This week we're talking about key keeping believers. Jesus told Peter in Matthew 16, 19, he says, I will give you the keys to the kingdom. And God has provided certain keys for all of us, all who believe and put their trust in him. And these keys give us access to the kingdom of God. In other words, to be in agreement with the way God's kingdom works, our life is in agreement with that and not living anti the kingdom of God. The fear of the Lord is one of God's keys to life. The fear of the Lord. Sometimes we read in the Bible and, and we don't fully understand about the fear of the Lord because we read that God is love and that God has not given us a spirit of fear. But in many passages, we read about the fear of the Lord. We read in 1 John 4, 18, it says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. Question for you. Have you been made perfect? perfect and love if you if you're like me and you have not been made perfect in love then we have the need for the fear of the Lord the fear of the Lord is for those who have not yet been perfected in God's love sometimes it takes the fear of consequences to keep us on the right path when we're not perfected in God's love and perfect love will gladly do anything that he asks and we don't have to have fear of consequences we just want to do we embrace everything that God wants us to do when we cannot walk in love we need to walk in the fear of the Lord Proverbs 16 verse 6 says unfailing love and faithfulness will make atonement for sin. By fearing the Lord, people avoid evil. By fearing the Lord, people avoid evil. He would rather us walk in that perfected love, but he will encourage us to know the fear of the Lord. It's the beginning of wisdom. And that's been given to all who have not been perfected in love. And the only one who was perfected in love was Jesus. In the meantime, we still walk in the flesh and we need the fear of the Lord. How about Proverbs 14, 27? It says, the fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain. It offers escape from the snares of death. In other words, we fear the Lord more than our desire to do things that are wrong, to enter into sin. We have a fear of God is stronger. It keeps us from going in the wrong direction. Proverbs 1, 7 says, the fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. Fools will not listen to, to, to wisdom and to discipline. And that's why we all need the fear of the Lord. If you've raised children, you know that you have to put the fear of the Lord, the fear of God in them. If you do this, this is going to happen. We all need the fear of the Lord. You know, a great example of it is uh, when, if you remember back when you were in school, I was uh, privileged to go and study music at a great music college, and I loved music. And so studying all about music, I loved to do. I didn't have to worry about failing. I just wanted to learn as much as I could. But there were certain subjects that, that I took in that school that weren't really relevant to what I wanted to do. But I had to study it because it was the fear of failing that 
kept me from getting a failing grade. I didn't get an A. I probably got a B or a C. But it was the, the fear that kept me learning that. And, and, and those things I've used later on. But the things that I loved, those things I remember a lot more. And, and it, I didn't have to have the intimidation to, you better do this or fail. That's, you know, if you love what you do, you don't have to have the fear of, of consequences of not doing what you want to do. You know, love is the preferred key way to live for God. God's love is as perfect as he is. Love is a major key of life along with the fear of the Lord that centers us, focuses us, and declares the necessity of God's will in our lives. This week we're talking about key keeping believers. We live for God's good pleasure. And number two, we live in God's love that includes the fear of the Lord. That's how God is going to work all things together for good. Even when we're not wanting the good, we're wanting something else. The fear of the Lord will help keep us going in the right way. You know, uh, if you're going down the highway and you're going 20 miles an hour over the speed limit, you're doing what you want to do. But if you see a policeman up ahead and he's parked alongside of the road, the fear of getting a ticket will make you go back to the speed limit. And it's the same way. We're, we're all human and we have been, not been perfected in God's love. Perfection in God's love is sinless. We're on our way, but we haven't arrived yet. Well, today I thought it'd be really good to sing a song and declare how much we love the Lord. So we're going to sing that, that little chorus, I love you, Lord. And as we do that, ask God to help you love him more. And when you're falling short, to give you the fear of the Lord so you can keep following him. Because his way is the way that works. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.